Hi, today we're going to make some art you can eat using icing sugar and colours. Here's a few I made earlier. First things first, you need to wash your hands so they're nice and clean. Then if you get a piece of greaseproof paper, you can make a start. To begin with, we use fondant icing, which you can get in any supermarket. And it looks very much like this. It's nice and soft and squishy, so you can use your fingers and thumbs to get it nice and thin. As you're doing this, I'm going to talk about the colour because we can use food colouring or we can make our own colours from things we can find in the cupboard. So here we are. We have our icing nice and thin and we can put it down flat onto our greaseproof paper. Because it's nice and soft, you can use a knife or a plastic tool like this to cut out whatever shape you like. Here I'm just going to do a fish. There we are. Just like that. And then you can take and put your fish, or whatever shape you have, onto your wafer. You can put it on a wafer, a biscuit, whatever whatever you like to have for a snack. Then you can use your tool to put a little bit of detail. So I'm going to draw above the head and then I'm going to put some little scales on, just pressing in to the icing sugar. Now, here's a few that I've done earlier and I've got all the detail on the fish, including the tail, where I've put down some scales on the tail and also here is a flyer. Now to make the flyer I've used some cut out shapes but you don't have to have these. You can cut them out yourself and put them down onto my wafer. Now you can use food colouring that you can buy in the shop like this or you can make your own which is a lot of fun. And here are some of the colours I've made from things in the house. This is made from orange juice. This is turmeric mixed with water. This is beetroot juice. This is crushed down spinach. This is the skin of blueberries. This is crushed down strawberries. That's the strawberry sauce that normally is for ice cream. And this is coffee. So you can see the beautiful range of colors that we've got. And here is what they look like when you paint them. So using our natural colors, I'm going to take a brush and paint them on. So to start with, I think I might use this beetroot juice colour here on some of the leaves of our beautiful flower. And you can paint them all whatever colours you like. And then when you change colour and move on to the next leaf, you clean your brush with a little bit of water, dry it, I think I'm going to use the turmeric now, mixed with a little bit of water, which makes a nice kind of mustardy yellow, to do the centre. It's amazing what you can do with things you find in your own store and cupboard. And this, for the green, I'm just going to use a little bit of spinach, say on the leaves, like this. It might not be as strong as artificial colour that you can buy in the shops, but you can have great fun trying to mix your own. Now moving on to our fish, I'm going to use some of the coffee. Now, this is great because this is going to be like a brown trout. And when I put on my colour, you can see where the texture I have made really comes out. And because I'm going to give them a lighter belly underneath, I think I might use a bit more of the turmeric. And then I think I might just give him, I don't know, a blue tail maybe? So 
I'm going to use this color here, which is made from the blueberries. It might look a little purple, but if you leave it for a minute or two, it kind of goes a fairly darkish blue. So there you are. There are some ideas for making some edible art. And when you've finished, you of course can have a very tasty snack. Well done.